Go. Oh, there we go. We are live. Right, so guys, welcome along. Uh, obviously, we've got a live stream going on Instagram here and um, on YouTube, just on the camera over here. So whether you want to watch via YouTube or Insta, whichever platform you like, me and Tim are uh, just going to do a quick stream. Those of you that are aware of the very infamous background here, yes, you can gather we are at, with the guys at Camo Raids. Um, just come up for a bit of a gas and to finger some new toys. <laughs> so it's been really good. It's been yep. good to hang out with the guys here and just see how busy they are. The amount of guns that they've got out the back is insane. Yeah. Some of the custom work that's being done, guys rolling in with some real steel parts as well. So. If you want some real steel stuff put on your guns, this is the place to go. There is a, a plethora of yeah. cool bits out there so for guys to put pit on yeah. your guns. So obviously we've just been out the back, um, obviously been gassing to Miguel and Marek, looking at all the um, tech work they've got going across the, in their workshop. Um, and that includes, I say, it, every build possible. That's from, what do we see out there? There's an AA12 in bits. There's 416s, a couple, um, scars. A couple of scars, um, obviously, as well as us bringing our guns along as well. But um, yeah, like as Tim was saying, obviously, you know, the majority of their work here is absolute uh, custom work. So for all the real steel parts like CTR stocks, uh, all the Magpul stuff that will fit and adapt to your um, TMs, because why buy anything else? Nothing really, else. Nothing, else. Nothing, else. nothing else. Nothing else. Just from the wall behind us. I love how people are like, they're at camo. No, just from yeah. seeing in the background. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very infamous shop, incredibly cool layout here. If you yep. haven't been down and checked this place out, you need to. Um, so, guys tuning in on both platforms, if you do any questions for us while we're here, obviously please feel free to fire yeah, them over. Um, really good day, lots of media done. Um, good to come out and hang out with these guys every now and then and yeah. sort of see what's coming down the line and what products they're interested in and what's coming to the market. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's quite interesting as well to see, uh, obviously behind the scenes, regarding the builds as well. So obviously the, uh, and how things are progressing with builds, you know, whether that's, um, you know, whether that's gear types, straight cut helical gears, uh, I think they are Lone X, I believe. Um, but also sort of how things are progressing as far as, you know, air seals, you know, uh, cylinders, etc. how they, uh, this all comes together for people's, for their customers' various builds. Um, as we mentioned, obviously we brought my gun down. Uh, Tim's brought his scar down. Um, I managed to pick up a nice little foregrip for mine just to add some more accessories because if, if it's not heavy enough. <laughs> Lugging that thing around. I know. It makes a big difference. A big difference. Um, and big also difference. Um, seeing the attachment as well, like just not having to deal with a Picatinny rail on the bottom by yeah. having the end block. Yeah, I'm just going to go and grab that guy's two seconds. So I've just put in the comments, if you are watching on YouTube, um, then please feel free to whack some questions in. Uh, Nomad saying, what's on the wish list next? Cheers. Really good question. That's something that I've been looking at today. As all of you guys know, um, and the guys that are watching on YouTube, I will give you a quick spin round in here so you can see the walls are absolutely littered uh, with all guns of various shapes, sizes, types. So whatever takes your fancy, there is always something on the wall here of interest. Um, for myself, good question. Not sure yet. There is some really, really Gucci builds here. As you guys know, they specialize in some custom work. Uh, and if you want to go almost to the very top of that custom echelons, uh, behind me is a very, very yes. fancy Mark 18. Yeah, um, very nice. This has got Vortex Optics. Um, again, we don't need to talk about those, but absolutely top line optics it's also got the uh, mark 18 rail on here that has been fully seracoated um, it gives this absolutely insane finish so the guys over on insta and then also the guys over on youtube uh, this thing is an absolute beast also some really nice additional features on here the irons um the yeah. uh sling, sling, sling point at the back of the rail that's which, really nice that's yeah. a nice touch gun feels awesome um the bad lever as well and also things like customized trigger on here as well uh for you guys to see and for you guys to see so lots and lots of components on here also i actually really like the stock uh, that, that, that cheek riser yeah, yeah. Um, that is nice so a really really beautiful build on also this the sling mount this yeah. thing has every goodie on it you could uh you could possibly piece onto a gun but works incredibly well yeah. also 
I guess, just a testament to the build of TMs, but also to the custom work that's been done on this. Yeah, this so, feels so uh, and rigid. I say whether it's whether it's you know things like your your cheek riser for the CTR stock, um, it, like I say down to and this I'm a huge fan of. I've used one of these for years. The the Magpul uh, ASAP sling. So this just allows you to transverse your weapon left to right shoulder yeah. without having it to come over the, you know the stock etc. Getting wrapped around. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, it's a testament to what the guys here at Camo Race Camo Customs do. You know the clues in the title, in the fact that whether it's Cerakote in front rails whether it's sling points, whatever it is, you can, uh, <laughs> to coin a phrase we heard today, if you can dream it, they can do it. So, which, which, <laughs> how, that phrase. it's amazing. So however you want your, your gun built or customised, anything is possible, absolutely yeah. anything. We've seen some strange builds here uh, that may not be our cup of tea, but, but it's, it's definitely possible. Yeah, and if someone wants it, then it can be built out. Yeah. Obviously, this is dripping in, in the real steel parts as well. Uh, so yeah, yeah, a lot little bit more parts. pricey, definitely, uh, from a build perspective. But if you want something that is going to be super robust um, uh, and it's going to sort of stand the testament of time. Yeah. Also, if you are keen on the Mark 18 no rail, wobble on that at all, is there? No, it's... If you, just, uh, you, if you wobble that, like... There's, there's, there's no there's movement nothing. in it at all. Um, I kind of want to try and break it, but I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd be in trouble if, yeah. we, if we did. But but again, you know, likewise, obviously, I brought my uh, infamous Scar Heavy down. Um, let's get it under the light here. So, obviously, absolutely love the M-Lock rail that the guys uh, here at Camera Road's Camera Customs done for us on the build. Love how smooth this is. So there's no uh, rails sticking out, no wrist rails to catch your gloves or fingers on. Um, although these hands are made of pure silk, they're quite delicate. Um, so I just wanted to add a little foregrip on the front here. I've always liked a, a nice reference point. Not a fan of the AFG, because I like to be able to, as Tim knows, <laughs> as I've ribbed him many times before. But you know, with the AFG here, it's either a nice reference point here, or if you're posting against something, you know, you can actually have that as a thumb stop as well. So it works both directions. So uh, big shout out to the guys for hooking us up with that. Um, but again, you know, it's anything's possible, uh, you know, with the uh, M-Lock rail, the M-Lock ha uh, hand stop here. And obviously, you know, anyone who's following the channel knows that on the, the, the innards that have gone into this are absolutely insane, uh, yeah. including the wonderful turn this off air part. So thank you, Daniele and Jamie Britt for hooking us up with that. I think Jamie's spamming in there about turn this off air part yes. for a plug. Um, of course. Another really nice thing is Richie was like, I'm thinking about a foregrip and the guys here were just like, okay, we've got those. This, we've got this, we've got this, and what colour just laid like? him out on the, the biggest decision was what colour, right? So, <laughs> yeah. you know, if you are looking to accessorise, you're thinking about diversifying the platform, even if it's just changing things out to try, make sure you head down, see what yeah. you've got on the shelf, things that you can walk away with straight away. Um, I know that this is a little bit of a trip for some guys, but for the kind of... Outlay you've got here, if you're interested in a new gun, you're looking at a yeah. new platform, or you want to speak to people about tech um, and top end builds, um, Kate Titans, full turn off their builds, then yeah. it's really worth, if you can, squeeze down here for a couple of hours, come and check some yeah. stuff out, look at the different platforms. There's lots of modified guns here as well. So as much as you can see on this back wall here, there is some completely brand new Tokyo Maruis. There is also some custom built guns as well. Yeah, I so mean, that's something to consider. Um, this, I mean, this thing is, is something else. Um, I believe this is, uh, I believe this is Marek's gun anyway, but uh, this is uh, obviously 416. The, the paint job is absolutely immaculate on this. It's really, really nice. Um, so yeah, whether it be um, absolutely flat stock uh, TMs, or absolutely fully modified, you know. Uh, come down, have a browse, and you will not be disappointed. Okay, that is uh, pistols as well. Um, so, talking of pistols, uh, that's one of the reasons that I came down here today. What's up, Jamie? Um, <laughs> we have been, look I, well, we both have, but I've also been looking at pistols today. And one of my decisions over a lot of uh, recommendations to me was to talk about the 19 and the 26. Yeah. Now, there are two things that really took my fancy. I like the Glock platform. Richie's been a massive advocate of the Glock platform for a long time. And so I wanted to come down here to try it out. Now there isn't a 19 in here, otherwise I'd have taken it by now. <laughs> um, but there is a 26. And as much as there's people that really advocate this, there's one slight thing that I just am not uh, 
too keen on, and it's just that my the bottom of my hand is off the bottom. And I think it was Merrick that, that mentioned this to me, that, that one of the things that he just doesn't like is that your kind of pinky is, is flapping about a bit. Um, so after using Richie's 19, mm -hmm. um, I think it'll be the 19 that I go for. They're currently out of stock, but we are waiting for them to come back in. As soon as they are back in, uh, I'll well, be having one you know, straight away. Um, but I did find this a little bit too small. Stock or upgraded? Ah. Because it's TM, not, you know. I think it's going to have to be upgraded. Okay. Right. I mean, I've always been a huge fan of stock yeah. platforms, right? I completely get it. Um, but after the performance from my scar yeah. and seeing what these guys do here, I yeah. don't know where they get this magic from. Yeah. I, I've heard that, that they can levitate here just with the power <laughs> of their mind. But yeah. On a serious note, it would have to be upgraded. I, I don't know yeah. what we ask them guys to do. I don't know what pot of gold it rises from in some kind of sanctuous kind of yeah. witch spell. I, I believe there has, demon to, that, casting. That, there has to be, you know, um, you know something. fairy dust, you know, fig leaves, and perhaps a sacrifice of a small child. Um, unicorn tears. Unicorn tears, whatever it takes. But I think. Um, yeah, you know, it'd be interesting to, to, to put your Glock against mine when you get it done. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. TM and WE, it'd be interesting to put them side by side. But and, and see how they go That's on. a little way down the line. It, it is, um, but it will be customised. I yeah. mean, the, the, the benefits that I've seen from having the customised platform, I absolutely love the reliability and the strength and kind of everything that's sat behind uh, the, the, the SCAR platform as standard. What I got handed back was a completely different gun. Yeah. There's no... There's, they, they weren't close, there isn't a little bit in it, it's not a 5% or it's a little bit better. No. They are completely different guns. You either have a stock TM or you have a camo rage built TM and everything else in between or, you know, that sits outside of those reads yes. is shit. It, it's just not worth it, absolutely not worth it. It's just a waste of time. You know, you, 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 we've, we've, all, we've all been there, we've all done it, we've all chased the upgrades and, you know, FPS and, uh, and you know, uh, hop units, barrels, etc. Um, I know I've done it with my AEGs and I chased and chased and chased for that range, for that power. Um, but to ensure you, the best thing I ever did, um, much to my wallet's disgust, uh, was, <laughs> was, was purchase a TM. Um, no, I, I absolutely love it, love it to bits. But the best thing I ever did was literally get the rifle, hand it over. Because do you know what? Like, yes, you part with a, a fair amount of cash, but the, the product you get back at the end of it is absolutely insane. Yeah. And, and how long have I been running this now? A year? About a year. About a year, I'm going to say. And it literally, I run it out for a skirmish day the other weekend. I put mag after mag after mag through this. You know, it's, <laughs> I really should be running high caps, but, you know, I just, I'd feel, I'd posit, uh, physically feel sick if I did. But, you know, it just never skipped a beat all day, absolutely yeah. all day. So I don't think yours either did. Uh, yours did either, do you know what I mean? Mind bodied people that yeah. day. Um, to the, to the was... point, I think the, the, the marshal actually asked him to, to, to pull back and go back to respawn because it wasn't fair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's genuinely true. Yeah. So, sorry, Matt, I'm going to have to take your life as they're yeah. not going to get this building otherwise. Yeah. And I thought, well, who's left, right? Um, <laughs> but we were, we were just murdered. You can have some. <laughs> you can have some. <laughs> the worst thing is, as well, is like the first time using a, a multi sort of zoomed optic. Yeah. You know, a one time zoom, I could really get on target real quick. Mm. Um, when I got into a fixed position and sat back a little bit, just with the flat trajectory that I've got mm. from that R hop and the really consistent FPS that they've got out of the gun. The, the, the BBs are falling behind this very squ tiny square little red pixel mm -hmm. in, in the optic. Yeah. Um, and they were just sitting in behind it. So I had absolute confidence. I didn't have to see where you know, the BBs were going and adjust yeah. and all that sort of thing. I just put the little crosshairs on the guy, zip. Yeah. And then if they didn't call hit, I'd put another one down and then there would be a hit. Point of aim, point of impact, impact. every yeah, time. Just, it was just absolutely on yeah. point. Um, someone asking about the Glock 34. There is one here. Um, Someone said, why not just get a Glock 30 for like, oh. a hum like a normal human? Oh, God. Um, just because it's, it needs this bit Ugh. cutting off. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's why I couldn't have a Glock. Yeah. Uh, if I, it, me, every time me and Richie hit the ground together, he was rich and every time I got my <laughs> pistol out, we'd be in trouble. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it performed incredibly. Like, just, just, it was just yeah. slaying. Uh, it incredible. was really insane. But just obviously talking about optics, I know obviously like Tim run the, uh, the Vortex Razor yeah. uh, HD out of the weekend. Uh, obviously, I had the uh, UH1 AMG line, uh, red dot, and the VMX3T uh, flipped aside. 
So three times magnifier flipped aside uh, from Vortex. So those of you guys that don't know, obviously it's not just um, standard TMs and fully custom upgraded TMs that, you, uh, that, that they do here at Camo uh, Raids, Camo Customs. They stock Vortex as well, the, you know, the best um, manufacturer in basically in the world. Uh, <laughs> We've got customers coming into the shop. So. Yeah. Um, so obviously, scope wise, obviously they do stock Vortex, full range as well. Um, they also stock tra uh, Travi Fitness plates. Um, they also stock, can or will be stocking JCI comms. I don't know if we're allowed to say that. Yeah, so they will we're be- We're getting the okay. Yeah, we're okay, getting the thumbs so up from Ray. So it's, we've got the okay from the boss. So obviously Camera Raids will be stocking JCI comms, uh, comms equipment, PTTs and accessories. So, you know, yeah. it will be, if, you, if you're down the road from here, uh, you, you can pick that up. So those of you guys, that, like I say, that think it's just for guns, just for airsoft, gu uh, primary, secondaries, pistols, etc. There's, yeah. there's a lot more, you know, um, you know, as well as, like I say, I said earlier, earlier on in the stream, yeah. you know, there's lots of real steel accessories, magpul stuff, foregrips, you know, stocks, sling points, attachments, tracer units, as well as your consumable, so. Yeah, so if there is anything that you want to add, mm -hmm. please feel free to come down. Also, these guys are really good at being able to get hold of stuff, um, which we've been talking about today. There's a few yeah. bits that myself and Richie Ron um, that we've really struggled to get hold of, but these guys have got avenues and contacts and stuff to be able to get hold of things that are yeah. a little bit rarer. Um, so if you're <laughs> after something specific, yes. um, then they are really good at being able yeah. to get hold of stuff. So if you've got a platform, whether it be standard or modified, or even if it's been modified and customized by other people, um, and you, you want a health check on it, or you just want a reference check, this is absolutely the place to bring it. Yeah. Um, it might mean that you get some work remended, uh, as we know that these guys are doing here at the moment. They're, they're, yeah. they're kind of fixing up some very poorly TMs, um, but they are willing to do that here, which is incredible as well, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like the, I say, you know, you know, there's obviously been, you know, we hear many horror stories about people sending their TMs off to people who, who, you know, say and, um, <laughs> and, and, and you know, and, and claim to be able to, uh, you know, tech TMs, but obviously, you know, customers get it back in, in quite a poor state and not performing as it should, but whereas obviously, you know, here, you know, you, you know, our, mine and Tim's guns are absolutely testament to that, you know, a year on and the thing hasn't skipped a single yeah. beat. So, um, yeah. We're also hearing more and more back here, but also from our end um, of people that have had their builds done. So there's yeah. quite a few, you know, Milsim teams, Airsoft teams and stuff that are out there at the moment that are, you know, six months into their new build and just absolutely slaying with it. Um, and we, we hear about that a lot. And, and, you know, they're hearing about that today uh, that we've been discussing too. So the sentiment and the feedback from just, you know, the wider customer base, mm. not just us, is so positive. Um, um, and that's really awesome to hear and that's obviously yeah. driving people through into the shop um, which is awesome but I definitely recommend to people you know if you're going to do a bit of an airsoft trip for the day you want to go and check out some guns you want to look at some high-end stuff uh, this is definitely the place to come it's based yeah. in Canvey Island in Essex so really accessible bounce down hit the M25 you come off the M25 it's like, it's like 10 minutes 10, off the 10 minutes off the 25 yeah. so um, we highly recommend for people to come down have a chat with Miguel, have a chat with Merrick, you know, even if you want to bring your platform down, get a bit of an assessment done, yeah. see what they think. Um, servicing, all that sort of stuff is done here as well, and the smaller upgrades. Um, and if you've got a standard platform, they will take it absolutely to the moon yeah. for you, if that's what you want. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say, you know, um, if you want to come down and visit Camera Raids, I'd definitely make a day of it, get down early. Um, because like I say, you have an absolute wall of guns. Um, the amount of times I've come in here, you know, just for a bit of a gas and a bit of a chat to drop, maybe drop a gun off. And I've ended up nearly walking away with like something I didn't even come in here for, <laughs> like a sniper rifle or something, you know. Um, but like I said, you know, accessories, you know, consumables, BBs, like uh, yeah. headsets, camouflage paint, whatever it is you need, you know. Uh, you, you normally end up fingering some stuff and walking away with a, yeah, <laughs> a, 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 a trolley, full of, a trolley full of kit, yeah. So definitely make a day of it, guys. Right. Before we bounce, because yep. me and Richie have got some other plans for the Saturday. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, please whack any comments over. Yeah. I know we've got a few people watching on Instagram. We've got a few people watching on YouTube as well. Um, where there is a bit of a delay, but guys, start firing over your questions before we jet. Yeah. Um, we know there's some requests to see the camo staff, um, but they are both preoccupied with people at the moment. We have 
stolen their shop floor um, and they are taking their customers out the back. It's very nice of them so that we could do our yeah. live stream. Um, any questions, Richie? And I will uh, check YouTube. Urban Reaper, leave Miguel out of it. He's doing my MP5. Uh, actually, mate, <laughs> I, I, I believe he's thrown it in the bin. It's, 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 you can't do anything with it, apparently. Um, so there's that. Uh, right, what else have we got here? Uh, are we here for new kit? Yes. Yes, We're we always are. here for new kit. So uh, both myself and Richie have been looking around to uh, across some of the other platforms to else is out and about, uh, and also to uh, see what could come in down the line. Well, funny enough, uh, on that question, um, uh, are there either, either of us buying the Mark Forty Six when it comes out? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> when it comes out, or the day that they are shipped. The yeah. day before they are shipped. Also, guys, if you're really keen on getting one, I've heard a rumour, a little rumour, that they're getting them here first. Oh, rumour has it. Rumour has it that they're going to have them here first. And so, the, the rumour also has it that you can pre-order them. Don't tell them that. I mean... I mean, you can't... No, you, you can't definitely pre can't pre-order them because, mate, we need to be pre-order one and two, right? So... Uh, you, you can't pre-order them. Uh, Charlie Webb, you can uh, thinking of getting a getting myself an M16A1. Uh, what's, do you have one yourselves, or what are your thoughts? Uh, me personally, the M16A1 is a very niche platform. I'm just looking around to see if I can see one. I think you need to. You've really got to be into that era and that type of thing to want one. But personally, they're cool. Um, just not for me. Yeah, not for me either, but uh, no. there is quite a few guys doing build outs there in the 16s at the moment yeah. and putting 203s and stuff underneath them. Um, really cool build. Again, if you want to do something really custom with it, Miguel is the man to speak to. Um, he was talking to us actually about some M16 builds earlier on today. Again, not personally my cup of tea, but then anything that's a scar that isn't a scar <laughs> is, uh, yeah. is not that we've learned today uh, through me trying lots of guns. But uh, if you're after an M16, you're after an M16, speak to uh, either Merrick or Miguel. They will do you one if you want one fully pimped up and got the whole... Yep. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, then you can get yeah. them here. Uh, someone there was saying favourite AR or favourite class of weapon or AR style. Scars or GCFO basically. Yeah, uh, I'm just about scars. Basically. I think most people have learned that. Yeah. Um, Scout Recon, uh, already paid for it. He's already paid for it. Yeah, we have already, we, we're, we're down. Right, okay, so, um, but these guys are apparently getting them first. Anyway, um, 417 behind you is Gucci, got rid of my kind of regret it, Stu Leader. Uh, Mark 46, yeah. full camo build, Skirm Lord's ver worst nightmare. <laughs> no math. <laughs> yes, mate. No yes. math on the bunny. Um, everyone loves a scar, they do. Um, they do. And the more that, I think they're put out there and, and people can get over this kind of Ugg boot mentality, Jamie. Yep. Uh, people actually realise that they're a very, very good platform. Ambidextrous shooting, yep. you know, off the bat, no customization needed. Uh, lots and lots of real estate, lots of rail space, uh, that, that monolith rail all the way down the, down the front, um, as well as not really having a lot of bulk. So for me, one of the big sort of defining features when, especially when you hold something like the um, Mark 18 or the 4 and 6 or the 4 and 7, that big quad rail at the front mm. for the real estate that it gives you, I just yeah. prefer what is available on the SCAR. It's a little bit shorter, it's yeah. not all the way down the whole body. Um, for you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, if you're not familiar with SCARs, I'll steal one. And essentially, you can see that You've got this front section of rail, which is perfect for torches and all this other stuff, but you don't have this back section. And the same as if you're looking at the 417 uh, or the 416, this back section of, of sort of rail isn't there. So, you know, if you are you know, tight in here with a grip, yeah. you know, on the, on the magwell, or even if you're driving the hand forward and you've got accessories here, you know, it just stops your hand from being able to get right in flat on the platform. Also, from the width perspective mm. uh, at the back, it means that the gun's much narrower in here, so in this bit. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I do like the scarf, just because everything's shifted further yeah. forward. But uh, again, you know, like, like, like Tim says, if, you know, speak to the guys here at Camo Customs, you know, I really want to get that signature of this front rail down even further than that. Um, hence why I went for the, the PTS, the m -lock rail. Um, the guys really did move heaven and earth to try and find this for us. Um, as everywhere in the UK was out of stock. But as you can see how small this is, I mean, I do have absolutely gigantic hands. 
uh, so the missus says, but, um, <laughs> but you know, I, I can easily wrap my digits around this, no problem at all, um, with lots of, lots of excess fingerage. Richie, would you ever get a new grenade launcher? Uh, absolutely not, mate. I've toyed with the idea of maybe getting the um, tag, uh, the come on, ML36, ML36, and, un and mounting it underslung. But the more I thought about it, it just, you know, it's, I, way, it? it's a lot of weight up front, and I love having the option to, you know, run mine like this, you know, that, that and that's exactly why I come here today to get this because I love the. You know the adaption of being able to punch yeah. this. You know whether you're forward, whether you're posting against uh, a bit of cover or something. It's just you know it's yeah. much more um, more options. So, so no. uh, that's why I switched to Geisley. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. um, I went down that route. Um, that rail though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard Tim's getting a G36 next. I mean, I would. I wouldn't mind a G36. Is there one? Ah, no G36. Maybe. All of the thing, there's a lot in here actually. There's a lot. I'd, have, I'd Mate, rather have one of them. That, that AK. Oh, this AK, I'll show you Come an AK. On. I've been trying to convince Tim that AKs aren't actually that bad. Oh my God, this is so heavy. Look at it. It's evil, mate. Absolutely evil. This is here to literally ruin someone's day. <laughs> um, it does look like this time that I ate like a couple of kebabs. Like one earlier on in the night yeah. and one later in the night. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, like, if you got dressed up as a space marine, this would look pretty cool. This would, yeah. This yeah. would suit some of our audience. <laughs> <laughs> some of the basement dwellers. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, this would, do you know who this would suit? Our really ill friend. Uh, he who should not be named. Okay. There is some really cool um, platforms in here, though, on, on the real. Um, and if you are looking for something different, you want to go to a new platform, if you're looking at shotguns, if you're looking at, you know, kind of your smaller SMGs or sniper rifles, yeah. they literally have everything here. Um, so a question from uh, Gambino Airsoft. What is the cost of getting my TM serviced? We're both looking at the back of Boss. where our main man is. Yeah, I, I was just about to say, so it really depends. If you want an absolutely basic service, like opening up, maybe, maybe, Cleaned, cleaned and re-greased? 60. 60 pounds. 70, because we get 10. Whee! Yay! Uh, no, but honestly, guys, so when you say a TM service, obviously I know TM, uh, That's cam good. camo now include uh, a free replacement O-ring for your uh, cylinder head, is that correct? For the piston heads, yeah. yeah. So you, um, with every service, whether that's a basic one or you know right up to the top end, you do get a, a, a free O-ring for your piston head yeah. uh, with every service. But again, it's, 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 like, it's like how long is a piece of string? So you can spend £60 on a basic sort of strip and clean. Yeah. Or, you know, you can have right up to the absolute super build that me and Tim have had. Yeah. It's got everything in it. Yeah, and I think that's the flexibility, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I would, if you, if you are confident of what's inside your gun, mm -hmm. 60 quid. You know, for me, I think 60 quid service would be fine, right? Because yeah. I know what's in there. Uh, if I've had stuff built by other people and a few, you know, my mates put a barrel in all that shit. You, 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 run it for, you run it for two years and done nothing yeah. to it? I yeah, mean, and if it's bog standard, there may be some stuff yeah. that's sort of almost semi-consumable and then I would be bringing it in and, and having a discussion. Yeah. You know, one thing that I would definitely mention to everyone is that these guys don't just know like AG platforms in general. These guys deal with TMs all day, every single day, yeah. they are taking these things apart. If you want to send them to an expert, someone that really, really knows their stuff. Now there's other retailers, friends, Text. mates, techs. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've done a couple of TMs, <laughs> right? They are out there and they are you know, actively you know, on the market trying to make money out of people with Tokyo Maruis. If you really want people that know these guns inside and out, screw by screw, these are the guys to bring your gun to. I watched Merrick one-handedly take apart my <laughs> scar earlier and was in awe that he could do all this stuff, but then it just kind of all fell apart all nicely, like yeah. nicely yeah. Uh, and neatly. And, and just watching him work on the platform is, is insane. So, yeah. you know, these guys really do know their platforms well, and, and that is... Uh, uh, yeah, and that, that's, that's why they are a TM specialist. You know, that's, that's, that's what they do. Um, so, yeah, like I say, guys, there's, there's various people you could go to. Um, <laughs> 
But like I say, there's only really one place you should take it to. Going through the chat. Yeah. Okay, live chat. We're only seeing half the messages. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. It's been on top chat and not live. Uh, okay, show. Trojan, what's happening? Chicks dig scars. They definitely uh, do. Sorry, tribe. Mustard gun is all I can think of. Harry Evans. Money. CQBR, please. The tan version. Um, the only AK worth getting is the one in Zentico furniture, and even that's a push. Fuck it while she's open. Might as well go the full hog. Yes. Yeah, to be fair. I think if you've got it open, at that point, I would be having a chat with the guys here and say, yeah. give me your opinion once you've got the, once you've got the case and open. I think that's exactly right. Consumables, standard is a replace. Mm. Um, and then I would ask their opinion. I mean, yeah. you know. I mean, yeah, the, the, the kind of discussions we had, whether it's with Tim's or my upgrades, it's really a case of they ask you, what, what do you want? What, what do you want from this gun? What do you want? How much do you want to spend? Because, you know, they will work with you as, as the customer to try and get the best. Huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Mary was just saying, you know, what's your style of play? You know, do you like to sit back? Do you like to get, you know, involved and up front? So, it really is like super flexible. So you can have the real basics. You can have just a, just a, a hop and barrel, or you know, or you can have, um, that, you know, hop and barrel. You can have a full gear set, uh, pretty much like this is now. So I I, I sort of skipped steps one, one and two, went straight to ten. <laughs> <laughs> he phoned me like I've sent the sent the gun to America. So I, I didn't uh, even know you had it. He's like I haven't got it. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't like waiting. So obviously, uh, if anyone's that's on the channel wants to go through and watch a video on this, it has had everything, when well, I say everything, everything to it. The only thing that's really missing out of this now, uh, should be down to choice, is, a, is, a, is perhaps you know a, an upgraded spring to make this into a DMR. Obviously it's got the gate tightening in it, um, so you can, it is absolutely possible. Yeah. You know, but the fact that you, you don't have to do that, you can literally start with the absolute basics, just a motor, maybe hop, uh, barrel, etc., and then work your way up from there. Um, there's one other thing that's really important to mention, and this is a bit of a dig at some of the other companies. <laughs> you? So me digging up Controversial. Other oh, I know, it's terrible. Yeah. You did get voted like the most dangerous, what's it? Most hated, no? No, I can't remember what it was. I got voted for something. You got voted, anyway, you got voted for bur print. burning loads of airsoft parts. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's this space? <laughs> <laughs> Hold my beer and what's this? You, um, yeah. But the turnaround time here is super fast compared to everyone else. Yeah. But if you want to wait 12 months for your TM, there's other places to take it. Crack on. If you want it done in a couple of weeks, say two to three weeks, yeah. dependent on availability for parts and you know the conversations that you have. I think if you come here with a really clear idea of what mm -hmm. you want, it's going to be the lower end of that. If you're open to discussion with the guys here, you're looking at two or three weeks, which yeah. is, so I was, how many weeks are in three months? 12. There you go, quick maths. Oh, okay, I bought them. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that, that's what I was yeah. told of mine, right? Three months. So this guy's are doing it two, three weeks. Yeah. So if you are doing it in between your monthly game, if you're doing it in between your monthly meal yeah. stim, whatever, two, three weeks is pretty that's crazy for guys that you know specialise in TM. So and, and if you imagine two to three get weeks, get your guns in, boys. And, and just you know trying to be realistic with it, two to three weeks. If you imagine you've got to strip it down get the parts, install the parts, you've then got to rebuild it and test it. And not that there should be any issues, but if there are any teething issues, then it has to be stripped down again, you know. Um, but this all has to be factored into a yep. sort of like a, um, you know, a, a, a safe area of, you know, leeway between them and the customer, so. so our, our hops can add a little bit of time, right? They can, they can be difficult, they can be difficult. They, but, they can be a little bit more finicky. So yeah. they, if you're going our hop, it may take a little bit more, but the yeah. guys here are very good at them. Yeah. I was not sure on our hops from the beginning. <laughs> What do you mean, not sure you hated them? Uh, yeah, because I tried them in a sniper rifle and they just didn't work. Yeah. I was absolutely assured by the guys here that I would fall in love with it. And after making lots of people scream, wince, cry, <laughs> and, and moan and complain about my scar, which is perfectly legal, FBF-wise. <laughs> nearly got but, banned. Um, but, you know, when yeah. the marshal tells you to wind it in a bit, you, yeah, uh, I felt bad. But the, the trajectory of the BB is oh, it's outrageous. insane. Yeah. Uh, would rival nearly all sniper rifles mm -hmm. that I've come across. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Right. Yeah. Uh, any more questions, guys, before we bounce? We've got lots of people coming and checking in now on... Um, <sighs> Brown Mountain Milsim. Who are they? Uh, Danny Goulding. What's up, dude? <clears throat> Poor EP UK. Hey, lots of people joining in. Um, Damo, what's happening, mate? 
uh, tried doing my own R hop years ago. Uh, got camo to do one for my 416. What a beast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They uh, they can put them in here, and they're they're not the easiest thing to do either. So definitely worth considering. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any other questions coming in, guys? If not, we are gonna bounce. There'll be more media coming from us later. Yes. Yeah. Ron. Later on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about shooting my scar later. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's just check through the last last goes. Right, guys. Fire away. Comments real quick. It's 14.31, we're going to be out of here at 14.35. Um, you Four guys minutes. going to England v Scotland? Probably not. No. Um, can they do rewiring? Uh, yes, absolutely. That's, that's like a bare minimum, I think, really. Um, we did, I did see in their, in their little den, in their little uh, in their workshop, there was a cardboard box like full of old wiring, so yes, they can. Yeah. Definitely are more than capable to do some yep. wiring. Um, I'm just going back through the comments because we missed some. Uh, best backdrop ever. Yeah, basically. Uh, now that is a beast of a gun, talking about your scar. Of course it is. Uh, how did the MP5 perform? The MP5? Yes. Mine? Yes. Um, last Sunday, uh, amazing. Really, really good. Uh, considering it's a CQB platform, it's actually really, really good. Um, all the work was done by um, Tony Soft Air. But I would say it's standard trigger switch mechanism, etc. So, you know, it's yeah. not as responsive, it's a bit laggy. You get locked up a couple of times. Not locked up, but it just, you didn't get that, that clean cycle as you would get with a gate tighten. Um, speaking to the guys here today, I think that is the next step. Uh, they are going to install a gate tighten in that foresight. Yeah. 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 Uh, Get a three bar round brush to rub up. Love it. Uh, yeah. Do they deal with just TM or can they upgrade other brands of guns? I'm going to look towards the back. Oh. Uh, they can upgrade other brands yeah. of guns. Are they happy while doing it? Nope. Do they continually cry? Yeah. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, they can do it, but it's a very sad They have to do it with a hot poke in their back, but yeah. It's <laughs> <big. laughs> All the lights off blindfolded. Uh, okay, uh, are they specifically for TM builds or can they do some Gucci stuff, say PTWs, dash? <laughs> a, a, a what? <laughs> just PTWs, dash is just bin them and get a yeah, token maroon. No. Um, I don't think they would touch a dash here. I think no. it would get to the door and then magnetically repel. Um, a bit like everyone does with Femme Fatale. Yeah. Um, but what uh, would uh, uh, would want an edgy barrel and better bucking? Probably not worth. Uh, What's that? Is it worth just doing an edgy barrel and bucking? Um, edgy barrel and bucking. I mean, you could. You could. I mean, we're I'm, getting sort of slow nods from the back, so yeah. I would imagine that it will be a good upgrade. Is it going to give you? You know, a completely different platform. It, it, yeah, in my opinion, if you're going to go with the edgy barrel and, 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 the, and the bucking, you would probably be better as well going for Zorbo pan for, uh, you know, piston head, stuff like that. Try and, if you're going to go, try and get the range, etc. Maybe come back a bit and try and concentrate on your air seal first. That's what I'd say. Uh, Why don't you just get the guys in? Yeah. Come and come and talk come to us. On. Come on. So we're, we're getting we're, words from the back. We're, we're, we're trying to speak to the, the bosses. Come on, you're not getting out of this. Right. Right, guys. So the answer to the edgy barrel is it worth it? I personally think it's worth it, even if you just go for an edgy barrel slightly. I'm gonna make it for really short. Yeah, pop -up yeah. yeah no. <laughs> um, Reason being, basically, Sorry, you Richard. get a tighter grouping, get a little bit extra range more accurate so yeah if i was going to put my money onto a barrel i would go down the edgy barrel or the pdi barrel everything else i would believe it's just more like a waste of money really so if you're going to put your money into something yeah just go for a, a good decent barrel and you will notice the increase of range just like it was a range but mostly will be a tighter it's grouping is there anything else you can add say say for instance you know if you if they've sent the gun all the way here mm -hmm. Would you recommend anything on top of that? As, as already doing that, that can maybe help well, as well. We don't like to explore people's wallets. Yeah. You know, we try to work with everyone in a, in a very specific way. If your budget is mm -hmm. for that, and if that's what you want to increase, is just a tighter grouping and so on. Yeah. We 
we can advise you yeah. if the gun is stock, we can, all right, you put a barrel and a, and a better rubber, you get a bit of increase of FPS, you're going to notice a bit of increase of range and the, the grouping is going to be a lot narrower. So, yeah. but we try to be a bit more relaxed in that way with the, not try to push because not everyone is in the condition of, yeah. you know, yeah. splash a, a ton of money into something. So we advise the client to what to do. We may recommend a few other mods or upgrades. Yeah. We allow the client to be the one to be the decision maker yeah. if you want to go down that way. I mean, let, let's face it, you know, we're all airsofters. Um, mo mo most airsofters spend, spend their money on... Uh, <laughs> 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 most airsofters spend their money on, 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 on anime porn, you know, not necessarily <laughs> easy Just, yeah. upgrades. But plastic buckets to catch all the rain that drips down into their basement. That they're yeah, in. yeah. Um, I have a quick question, uh, to, and, and Bakes is, is put this in. So um, about, he said, you know, my TM's away at the moment, so I don't yeah. know where it is, but it's away. Uh, he's considering a DAS. So I would just say this from the off, right? You're going to spend 1,600 quid on a DAS, roughly, and you will absolutely have to modify it. I've fired, we were talking about this earlier, uh, quite a few of them, so's Richie, so's the guys here. Um, I know someone that was handed a DAS and he's had it pimped to bits and they were in here a few weeks ago getting TMs done. That's just fact. Um, so if you wanna go off the back of that, if I brought 1600 quid to you guys to build me a gun, what, what sort of level of build am I gonna get? I mean, where, what, what would that get me? I like Mary probably. In, including the gun? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. You will so, have a brand new gun with the best of money you can throw into and internal. Some vortex scope on top of it. And probably could get a decent vortex scope to go with yeah. that. So the whole yeah. package. So, yeah, so, you will have, yeah. yeah. So for the price and of your... And for sure, like, like a range, I'd yeah. perform an ass yeah. in every way. Yeah. So if, 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 sorry mate, just if, go on, if, go if, if, and if you're talking about a DAS, obviously I'm assuming you love the gas blowback, you love the realism of the bolt catch. MWS? Definitely. Yeah. MWS, I, I, I MCR. Say, I MCR. Mean, if you want to go down the, the gas route, I finished my review yesterday of the MTR. That will be coming real soon. Uh, had a two, three, F, I think two and a half, if you put the, the decimals in, uh, FPS deviation over 10 shots wow. on a warm day at 30 meters, it punched out a really good grouping. Yeah. That is a gun that is formidable. For me, the gas platform and the AEGs, they're just very different kettle of fishes that I haven't probably spent enough time uh, doing it. If you want a gas, I'd say go MWS. The TMZ system is absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I talk about it a lot and I've done a live stream on it. If you want to go for a app, just you just want a gun that is in absolutely incredible, I'd go for an AEG and get these guys to build it. Like they yeah. just said, for the price of your standard DAS with out magazines, I think, um, you're going to get a TM with mags, fully pimped to bits, and a Vortex Optic for that sort of money. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be built by these guys, which is, uh, you know, I genuinely mean it, it's, it's worth volumes over other people that I've seen and build guns out. If you allow me, and buyers upgrading a brand new gun, it doesn't mean you're going to lose your warranty. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we still give you the full year warranty on, on the gun, and anything that we do, it comes with warranty. So. Yeah. Labour parts warranty. Labor, yeah, so yeah. There you go, guys. So there you go. Uh, I yeah. think that's anyway, that's that's as it all. Let you guys carry on with Thank you. The yeah. Best. Cheers, guys. Thank Thanks you. very much. <laughs> no worries. So. Yep. We'll wrap this up. I think guys. we'll wrap on that point, guys. If you want to get something built out, you want to get something done, yep. um, then I would highly recommend coming here. Hopefully, we've uh, covered up enough information. Bikes. Hopefully, that was cool for you. Um, we don't want to drop other people in the shit, but we do want to be honest with you about what you're going to get over other platforms yeah. um, that are out there. So, anything else? Uh, <gasps> oh, we've just been told oh. that there is a very special delivery. Is that the, I can, I can, I can, I, they're, they're unboxing as we speak. As you can probably hear. Uh, right, Amazing. so while we're doing that, I'm going to bounce through the questions very, very quickly. Um, true Gucci gang. They are very special guys. Uh, right, I get you. I currently got my TM away, but I've heard good things about the DAS and wanted those upgrades. But if you guys are giving the red light, then I wouldn't jump on it. Um, honestly, mate, I've not mm. heard anything decent about them. I shot one that was supposedly fully pimped up, and in my opinion, it would not stand side to side with a standard TM. Yeah. Uh, a modified TM, if you were comparing the platforms against the DAS 
modified that I use and the standard DAS, I think a normal TM would completely floor it. Yeah. Inconsistency. For consistency, yes. Yes. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, and again, like Tim said before, the recoil, electric recoil platforms and a gas platform are two completely different things. You know, people want different things from their platforms. So, you know, I love the, 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 the modularity, the, you know, uh, the, how you can interact with the gate titan for, for, for the recoil system um, on the uh, TM uh, recoil. But if you love the bulk catch, if you love the realism uh, mm -hmm. of, you know, a gas blowback, then fine. But then, you know, maybe look at something like the MTR. <gasps> Just arrived Bye. fresh uh, into the country. So uh, one of the things that was mentioned about the uh, gas <laughs> platforms is the reliability and how well that they yep. can perform uh, in the cold. I know a few guys now that have been running gas all year round uh, and dependent on uh, the modifications that you can do to the mag uh, and what gas you run, uh, knowing that some of uh, the guys that are watching the stream at the minute run a lot of gas. Uh, if you run black gas in these, apparently they perform really well even in the cold. Um, you do have to keep an eye on the mag temperature, but they will run in the cold. Um, so that's something to consider. So you can get yourself something like this. This is the Tokyo Maruri uh, MTR. There is a review on this coming very, very soon to the channel. It's all shot, it just needs to be edited. Uh, Richie, what have you got there? Um, I believe they're the first ones in the country. Is I'm looking at something that's basically now mine, I think. These are... <laughs> got it. <laughs> got it. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it's um, magic. Um, so these are literally, we just want to get delivered through the door. The brand new uh, Gate Electronics uh, uh, MOSFETs, or the control stations, MOSFETs, yeah. whatever you like to call it. Um, the Aster, which looks, and again, guys, I know nothing about these at all. So I think the that's Aster. the inline one, right? And that is the one that replaces the trigger, body, contacts, everything. So it's like right. a mini Titan. So I was going to say, because looking at the, the diagrams on this, um, yes, from what you might be able to see here, um, it looks very much like the Gate Titan that I've got in, in, in my builds. Um, so I was just going to say it looks like yeah, similar to that. Yeah. But just like Tim said, so this is basically, basically like, a, I'm going to say, a middle ground. So uh, I don't know what the retail is on this. I'm not sure yet, but... Um, they don't know. Don't know. <laughs> but I think this is slightly less than the Gate Titan. So obviously the Gate Titan is here. Yeah. Uh, the Aster is sort of a middle ground, so it still uh, requires installation by a, you know, a, a reasonable tech. Um, and is the Aster, this is a V2 gearbox, or is this for Tokyo Maru's as well? It's right, okay. So this is a non-TM uh, platform. Yep. Titan. Yeah, so if any, any, Titan. any version two gearbox, uh, basically can take this uh, rear wide, yeah, basic um, for any V2 gearbox. The XASR, now this is a, like Tim said, an inline. So look at the, you've got the installation kit, troubleshooting card, Dean's connector there, so, a little so circuit board. it's an inline board. gate, so that will have all of your things like battery protection, uh, it will stop Rever shortages. Reverse polarity, all that sort of, yeah, so automatic resettable wrong, fuse, self-test, sort of uh, your AGs, electronic guard, so space, time and money. Um, yeah, so again, I guess, pretty cool. being in line, um, I guess this is pretty much compatible with anything, that you, anywhere you can fit it, right? So recoil, AG, anywhere you can fit this little thing, and it looks quite small, um, will obviously act as like a mini, uh, mini MOSFET, which is pretty cool. So, if you are after an inline, whether you are after something for your V2, whatever other platforms you've got out there, I know some of you have got sort of second, third, fifth, sixth, and seventh guns. Like Richie over here. Maybe. Uh, then, um, oi oi, Richie, put it back. That needs to go in my Scar H build. <laughs> <laughs> um, one time zoom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you have, uh, I want a Titan. There is a bundle We've of just had a Titans here. Huge so if you are up. after a Titan and you would like one in your- Is this for up. an NGRS, yeah? Yes. So I reckon, so this is for a recall. So I reckon this is Scouts, I reckon. I think if you're doing a build without one of them, you're crazy. So, but what if this is Scout Recon's actual one? I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so now this is, I'm sorry about the price, it's just gone up in this, I can only apologize. It's going to go on eBay. <laughs> but yeah, so guys, if, if you want anything for this, a version 2 gearbox for your AEG, 
whether you want it in line for yeah. any platform or you want it for your recoil, the guys that are here at Camera Razor have just had a massive box turn up full of these things. So yeah, get on that quick. If you've got a TM build or you're having a TM build done, this is uh, something we've mentioned loads of times, not mm -hmm. just because these have turned up, this is my number one mod. Yeah. Nothing comes close. I mean, obviously- I, It's I, the thing yeah. I would recommend to everyone. I was banging, um, you know, when I got mine first, many years ago for my AG, I was banging on Tim about it. And he was like, no, no, keep it stock. I keep my stuff stock, blah, blah, blah. And obviously like, like I said, you had to try it to believe it, didn't you? Yeah, The, absolutely, the response yeah. and everything. Yeah, the responsive. And also the thing that I did at the weekend, um, I, last weekend after the event, I come home, I got the gun, I yep. plugged the gun into my laptop, and then I went into the control station and I checked if there was any error codes. The only error code I had was for low battery, which yep. is probably where I was spamming the trigger. I looked at my round count uh, for that event, which yep. was just over two and a half thousand. Uh, oh, oh and Lord. Uh, many dead. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, and just things like temperature, yeah. um, far, like highest amount of rounds per second, which I think was somewhere about 22, 23. Um, those, I those, actually, those are rookie numbers. We need to yeah, conference. because I was on uh, the old <laughs> uh, But also just some of the settings, it's so good to sit and have a, a, a bit it, of, a, of a availability of what is there. You it's know, good for I, peace of mind, right? Yeah, but also, I mean, if I really wanted to bring it back to these guys, get a big sling put, uh, a big spring put in, yep. uh, put it over to a two-stage two trigger, mm -hmm. put it over to single only. It can, it, I don't need to mechanically no. do anything. I just go onto the app, change some change settings, settings, you know, and yeah. uh, that is a then bona fide fixed uh, DMR until yeah. they bring out the Bluetooth adapter and I change it midday. <laughs> <laughs> we will be editing that bit out. <laughs> um, no, but just like you said, just for peace of mind, you know, you can, for me, I love to sort of come back from a skirmish tower of Milsim, plug mine in, plug my, uh, my Sky Heavy, the recall in, just go through to see what it's doing, you know, or, yeah. like Tim said, round count, temperature, amps drawn, etc. Just make sure yeah. everything's okay. You know, if there's any error codes, it will tell you, you yeah. know, um, but at the same time, it's always good to go back and check it. Okay. Um, the Astra is for Crytax because the Titan is a pain to fit in them. There's another thing you can do with a Crytax. I've What's heard that? that makes him really good. What's that, bin it? Yes. <sighs> Apparently, if you put the gearbox in the microwave for nine minutes, it comes out exactly the same as the Tokyo Maru one, just without recoil or bolt release or anything else that's decent. <laughs> uh, Tim's got the right idea. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so, guys, we are going to have to cry crack. Same. It's, it's yeah. happening. It's in the comments box now. Yeah. Uh, St any questions? Stu Leader was just saying, obviously, uh, I remember the time many, many years ago when Parky first bought the Gate Titan Yeah. Uh, for his TM recoil, Can't. even though they hadn't been released yet. <laughs> he didn't realise. <laughs> so he had a, uh, you know, a, um, a version 2 gearbox Gate Titan sat there. I was like, oh, I'll have that, thank you. <laughs> and that's the one I still have in my AEG. So yeah, it's still getting used. Kicking Mustang himself. We were talking about you earlier. Yeet. <laughs> Um, so, uh, you not like the BTC Spectre? Um, no, if, no. I, I heard, I've heard too many horror stories about failures, etc. Um, I, I've had. <laughs> when I mentioned them to Mike Marden, oh. who said about five of them. Yeah. He keeps phoning them like, "Hi, Mike." They've got his number saved yeah. on their phone. Yeah. Speed uh, dial. It's broken again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, the next version or batch of boards that they're getting is like six weeks time. Uh, and that's the thing, and, and you know, with the BTC Spectres, you know, people, and it's, it's outrageous really, just buy them up and then sell them on for a profit, whereas, you know, uh, Gate are pushing these out, as you can just see, they've just got a delivery here. Yeah, they, they can keep up with demand, and I've had, yeah. obviously, that in my SCAR recoil now for a year. I've had a version two Gearbox one in my uh, VFC base for, wow, three years, four years, maybe, maybe even longer, I don't know. Old, 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 old wooden ship. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through the last of the comments. Yep. It's really, really good uh, for everyone to interact. If there's any other questions, obviously, please feel free to send yep. them over to us on DM. NVG1 is the next big priority. It is, um, yeah. That's gonna be coming around super, super quick. If you've got nods and you wanna go and shoot things, um, then please and, feel free to And learn up. stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be doing some cool stuff that night. Yeah. Um, yep. Kiki Mustang, good to see you in here, dude. Um, you're not like the, oh, right, okay, about yeah. the BTC. No, um, and also then Mike went, oh, I'm actually just gonna go to camo and just get a Titan put in, and yeah. said it was the best movie he'd ever made. Done. Um, so I, I, I just think this, the sparse availability of them and the reliability that I've seen up to this point has been really poor. Yeah. Um, don't you have to like modify the gearbox or something? I, I don't know, mate. I just, I, I just wouldn't touch it with, with your dick. Oh. 
That's bad. That's bad. Uh, that's really bad. Okay, yeah. guys. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks yeah. for the guys at Camo Raids for yeah. hosting us today. Um, we're going to bounce. Yeah. If any of you want to come and pick up any of these beauties that are behind and us, just, then... Uh, and, just, and just stroke them very gently like this. Yeah, they, there is a policy in here. You can only spend 10 minutes at a time stroking. Yeah. Um, but if you do want to come down and check it out, we highly recommend for you to come down and see these guys. Uh, if you've got a TM, you're looking at upgrades, you're looking at real steel parts, they can get things from BCM, Magpul, they can get you the works. All sorts. So if you want to go... To uber gucci get yeah. here get a build done get some real steel parts on there uh and have you know a car's worth of gun uh, yeah. out with you every time you play <laughs> then uh please feel free to do that and speak yeah. to the guys here they're absolutely awesome definitely um like i said likewise obviously their, their full workshop um you know the sort of custom works they do includes obviously uh machining now uh, all good stuff like that so if you do have a problem that the 18 can't fix um, you know, whether that's with any sort of metal materials, whether that's barrel nut, you know, um, flash hider, the re-threading, etc. Yeah. Um, the guys can do all that here for you. Epic. Right. right. Yeah. So, guys, we're going to bounce. Take it easy. And we'll um, catch you in a piece. <laughs>